Greetings. People of the world. We are anonymous. There are many theories about us. That we're anarchists. Kids. Crazy film buffs that saw one too many superhero movies. The truth is we are all these things. Anonymous is a symbol. Like the flag a country flies. The flag is the symbol of the country. Our masks are our national identity. We are not anonymous. We represent the ideals of anonymous. Truth. Freedom and the removal of censorship. Like any symbol we affix it wherever we go. As you have seen from street protests. We have no leaders. Civilians or soldiers. We are all one. We run operations because that is what the group decides to do. We choose targets because that is what the people who represent the ideals of Anonymous want to fight for. The world is in trouble. We see it every day. War. Poverty. Murder. Every day we are bombarded with news and images. As we sit at home safe in the knowledge that we are powerless. That better minds are dealing with the situation. If you met me on the street I wouldn't even register on your radar. I am just another person in a sea of faces. But in cyberspace we are different. We helped free the people of Egypt. We helped fight against Israel as it attempted genocide. We exposed more than 50,000 pedophiles around the world. We fought the drug cartels. We have taken to the streets to fight for the rights you are letting slip through your fingers. In today's world we are seen as terrorists or at best dangerous anarchists. We're called cowards and posers for hiding behind masks. But who is the real poser? We take away the face and leave only the message. Behind the mask we could be anyone. Which is why we are judged by what we say and do not who we are or what we have. We exist without nationality, skin color or religious bias. You wage wars, lie to us and try to make us believe it's for our own good. Yet we're the criminals. We spend our time within a structure we created. The sum total of human experience spread throughout the world in ones and zeros. When the CERN created the Internet Backbone the goal was to freely share knowledge and learning with others throughout the world. You fear us because you do not understand us. You see the results but not the minds behind it. When we took down PlayStation you saw your personal details. Your bank details. The things which society says makes up you. Disappear into the ether. But ask yourself this. If we could do it so easily, what's to stop someone else? We stole the information and then publicly took responsibility. Not a single penny was stolen. The purpose wasn't financial gain but to show the world who you put your trust in. Every day you send yourself off into our world without a thought. You trust a faceless website with information about you that you wouldn't give to your best friends. We took advantage of holes in this system, but we didn't sneak in and take a few details. Take out loans and credit cards. Buy speedboats and cars. We told you and the world how insecure the system was. And now you trust a bit less blindly. The real criminals that hack computers for a living live off the backs of people like you. Where there's money there's someone looking to take advantage of it. We had been telling PlayStation for years that there were holes in their security. But because they didn't want to look weak they ignored us and allowed criminals to abuse your details without your knowledge. This is hacktivism in its purest form. It is a great equalizer. A homeless person at an internet cafe with the time and know-how can have geopolitical influence. They can bring entire organizations, even governments, to their knees. You gave your world over to computers then complained when the people using the computers used the medium to fight back. We are not computer hackers. We are not protesters. We are not criminals. We are your mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, next door neighbors.
We are anyone and everyone who is pissed off and wants to do something about it. An anonymous operation isn't a five-person thing. It requires hundreds of people to make it work. Video makers, whistleblowers, people on the street. The only way an anonymous operation can sustain itself is through public support. I'm not going to tell you that we are right or wrong. We did what we thought was best, supported those that were caught and continued on. The only thing I ask is just for one minute, just for one second, think. We are anonymous, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us.